Yo, what's up guys? This is Theo here. So we are in JSBin and I'm going to explain to you guys uh, the javascript.ven function. We're going to write our own and I'm going to sort of show you guys what it actually is doing on, under the hood. So it's not going to be perfect, but uh, we're going to make one. So we're, we're going to declare two variables, var error and var data. Okay. So we're going to pretend like we have a uh, our API endpoint, and uh, all this is going to do really is uh, for API data, and we're just going to set this equal to data, got data, right? Uh, so we're going to create this function, get data, and uh, all this is really going to do is it's going to set data equal to the API data, um, and then it's going to call then I'm basically showing you guys what dot then is doing under the hood, or what I'm pretty confident it is. Uh, so it's going to call dot then. So in this case, just then, um, or it can just return then. And uh, what we're going to pass along, we're going to pass along this data, and we're going to pass along the error. Okay. So now let's write our then function, and this is going to take in data in the error, and it's going to say if error is not equal to empty string, and uh, error is not equal to undefined, and we'll say console.log error, else, um, else we will just console.log the data we get back, and then finally, at the very end, we'll just console.log finished executing, uh, executing promise, and finally, one last thing we'll do is we're gonna, this is going to be asynchronous, so we're going to try and simulate that. So we're going to run a set timeout function, and we're going to execute this after like three seconds. So let me wrap all this code inside this and uh, space this out a little bit more. It'll move over for me. Maybe not. All right. So we got all that running, and am I getting an error? We're not getting an error. Let's, let's see what we get this time. Function then. Oh, we haven't actually called a function. My bad. Let's just call it get data. And let's see. Set time out. Oh, my bad. Set time out. I think that's it. Ah, why did it run it so fast? Oh, my bad. Okay, so it's running, and our response back is got data, finished executing promise. So let's try and change this to an empty string and see what data we get back this time. Let's look. So we get empty string for the error. So let's do this. We'll say, um, or actually we'll just say if data, if, if we get no data back, right? Um, if data, or no, we can do it like this. We can say if data is equal to an empty string, and we'll just say error is equal to error getting data. Okay. And now let's go ahead and run this one more time. And take that off. And let's see what we get at this point. So this time we got error getting data and finished executing promise. Um, awesome. So now if we just change it back to got data, and we should get our success callback. All right, got data. Awesome. So I uh, just wanted to sort of sort of explain uh, to you guys the dot then function of JavaScript, and this set timeout is to simulate the asynchronous nature. You could also, if you wanted to do it better, we could do a uh, math dot floor math dot random, and it'd be like. Uh, times five, something like that, right? Dot data finished executing promises, you know, maybe times 5,000. So, you know, this is going to be random every time. Keep running it. Yeah, it's going to vary. You don't know how long it's going to take each time. That would probably be a better simulation of. Uh, 
you know, how long it's actually going to to take because you're not sure. That's the whole idea of asynchronous programming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's sort of a different video, but wanted to sort of go into the go under the hood a little bit and explain to you guys what's happening. Because um, I like knowing, you know, the internals. Um, but if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day and take care.